Slide Nerd is back and so is Weaves. What's up, folks? In this vid, I've seen people saying everywhere how to run Android apps with NetBeans, blah blah blah. There are some NetBeans fanboys out there who don't want to do Eclipse or Android in on IntelliJ. So, this vid, I'm gonna tell you how to get up and running with NetBeans. So, now that you know what is to be done, let's go ahead and see what is needed first. We need four things we need Java JDK, the Android SDK. NetBeans IDE and this is the most important part NetBeans NB Android plugin now for those of you who are familiar with making apps on Eclipse or IntelliJ I have to tell you this NetBeans does not have inbuilt support for making Android apps you have to do it through plugins one of such plugin is NB Android plugin so let's go ahead download this stuff and get this up and running guys step one get the JDK there are many options here, you guys will be probably overwhelmed. I'll select the JDK latest version, whatever it is. Accept the license agreement. I'm using Windows 64 bit, so I'm gonna go ahead get the JDK for my machine. It's a simple installation, just go next, next, and you're done. And now downloading Android SDK, the software development kit which is essential for making Android apps. Again the same thing. So once that's done you go ahead and install it. If you have any problems make sure you have set the Java home variable over here. I have covered this in my previous vid on Eclipse. I'm gonna go ahead and set the Android SDK in a different folder. The reason being is Android SDK is a massive piece of software. It's gonna keep downloading stuff, 5, 10 GB, depending on how much platforms you select. So it's best to keep it other from C drive, just in case your C drive gets formatted. Start SDK manager, click finish. And as you guys can see now, just as I was telling, there are so many platforms you can download all of them. It's gonna take a lot of time. All you're down download the essential ones. If you ask me what are essential, well, go above the latest version take a gingerbread for old compatibility and take honeycomb that's what I'll suggest <coughs> and now we go to netbeans.org slash downloads so netbeans is an open source software it's free of cost you don't have to buy or pay for anything or pirate anything just go ahead to the website and downloads now I'm a greedy guy, I'm gonna take everything, I'm gonna download to a 240 MB file, which is everything, but you guys can stick to the first one, 77 MB one. So once NetBeans is in place, I'll go configure the installer. Again the same thing, you, can, you don't have to customize, but I'm doing it because I need Java EE applications running on my NetBeans as well, so I'm gonna use Apache Tomcat. Otherwise, you can just go ahead on with the default installation. It's going to ask you many things. Just keep clicking, clicking accept and next. You don't have to contribute to that stuff. Click finish. So now the truth is I need a plugin for running Android. It's nbandroid.org. This is the U URL that you need to paste inside the plugins window in NetBeans tools plugins. I'm gonna click add, call the plugin Android, and paste that URL. As you guys can see, there's Android over there. Click install. Untrusted content, blah, blah, blah. Continue. At this point, it's gonna probably say something like this. The two modules were not done. Disable those modules and continue. Don't exit.
and at this point android is almost done go ahead file new project as you guys can see android is over here android project click next I'm gonna have to give it a name project name I'll call hello from waves package name is gonna be the same thing in eclipse like slide net or waves select the latest platform click finish I'll call debug because there is normally an error over here so I'm gonna debug it and that somehow solves the error now I have no idea how it does that so here I'm gonna select the device that I wanna start the emulator is running as you can see there's nothing inside the code I'm just gonna make a minor modification you don't have to make this but I'm gonna do it gonna go to layout and simply change the text from hello world main activity if you guys are probably wondering what this all means don't worry I'll be covering it in a separate bit this video is only about to show you how to run the app not how hello world works so I'll go to run at this point it's gonna ask me that I wanna use that running emulator I'll click OK and BAM there you go main activity and it's gonna say hello world from Vibs so I hope you guys understood something about how to run an Android app in NetBeans as I said I'm not gonna show how hello world works in this vid it was only about getting you running with NetBeans for an Android app now that you've seen it if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment I would love to hear from you guys and I'll catch you guys later. Bye from SlideNet and bye from Weaves.